Hello. Uh, Hi. It's nice, it's nice to uh, see you guys again. How have you been doing? Excellent. Wonderful. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so your main project, uh, the order, um, it's been going around the internet quite a lot. Uh, so tell me, what is the order? Um, the order is a new movie. It's a new movie that um, uh, David Fielding and myself we wrote. Um, it's being executive produced by me and Johnny Young Bosch. Um, it's it's an action film about some you know they're vigilantes, they're assassins, and um, they basically are a group that kind of shadows the CIA and FBI. And I had this crazy idea of casting um, about ninety nine percent Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Great I mean, idea. Right, this crazy idea. So in a way, it's kind of become known as the reunion project that we're all doing. Um, we've always wanted to work together for years. It's been a conversation that the minute we met each other, it was like, dang, I wish I could have worked with you. I wish you would have been on my season. And then it kind of was like, well, why don't we work together? It's not like we couldn't. Let's do it. So it's really exciting. Ah. So like the idea when, like, obviously you just said that you talked to a few people, did you just go we're going to make this type of thing. And then it just, boom, like, like the idea dropped. Um, no, I, I honestly, I've been talking about it for years and I had been talking about doing a script that, you know, everybody, the obvious thing was they wanted us to go back on the actual show. But I mean, that's, you know, I just, it, that never materialized. And the idea has always been for me that we should do something different. We, you know, I feel like I'm surrounded by these amazingly talented people and we could do a different genre of film. And um, so I just, I, I, before I approached them, David and I really made sure that the script was a good script or a decent script because I knew I had one shot with them. And if the script wasn't good, if it didn't pull their interest, if they all didn't have a moment, if it wasn't action packed, they probably would pass on the project. So um, I, I didn't want it to be about one particular person. It was about these, this, these groups of people and the minute they read it and they saw that it was the group thing and everybody literally has a moment I don't know how we pulled that off but everyone does they were like I want to be down like I don't want to miss this for the world so um, with like the icon I mean the mass marketing that you did it was it, it was it was genius to be honest it was <laughs> It starts off with, I think, just being posted on Twitter and then literally every single, um, like the Rangers were just like posing as their avatars and it dropped so well and, and people enjoyed it. What was, did you think it would ever kind of like take that, the, the, the community by storm? You know what? I was hoping it would, but no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly was like, because um, like, this is my thing. I really thought if we're going to give you guys something, if we're going to say, hey, guys, we're going to do this project, you know, people have tried to do projects before. I felt like we can't just get, like, we can't just randomly post it on social media. Like, we really need to do something marketing-wise to build up to this moment of them seeing this trailer that basically is, you know, a, a very elaborate way to just present a project to say, hey, we're doing a new film, and guess what? It looks like this. Um, so we, I felt like, you know, uh, you know, it had to start small, and I felt like we kind of had to take the audience with us gradually. I don't, I, I feel like Power Ranger fans are so, they're so in love with the characters, and they're so in love with us as Power Rangers, and they sometimes only see us as Power Rangers. So I said, we kind of got to gingerly get them there, and um, we all decided to, you know, I said, we're going to change our, our profile pictures, and everybody, the beautiful thing is the only reason it worked was because the cast was so, um, they were so gracious enough to say, here's my social media, let's do this and let's really build this up. And um, that's the only reason it worked was because they were so cooperative. Well, it worked really, really well. I know a lot of people were, were talking about it for so long and um, <laughs> uh, it was just it was just crazy. And I, I was like going, I like this, I like this. It all worked so beautifully <laughs> together. Yeah, it was <laughs> Well, there was a moment, right, Nikia, where we were like, okay, are they happy or are they mad? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we, just, we would sit back and observe the, the different uh, messages that were sent. Is this the Illuminati? What does this sign mean? What is this? And we would just, you know, Karen, I think I, Karen's strategy to this was absolutely amazing. This whole marketing 
So like, cause she just finished helping me with mine, like sitting back and just, you know, trying to figure out this Indiegogo demon. We're just going to call it an Indiegogo demon at times. <laughs> it's um, hard to have fun. It's really hard. Yes. It's, it's not. Yes. Because I, I literally just ended mine, and I did that on purpose because I knew that the order was going to be coming out, and I didn't want, obviously, I didn't want my campaign overlapping the order. Um, so her idea and her strategy to this uh, marketing campaign is just phenomenal. I mean, I'm, I'm just taking a, a back seat and just observing everything that's going on and just the attention that, that the order has um has had thus far is due to this little lady right here as modest and as uh, humble as she is it it did you know it took a strong mind behind all of it to to for it to be orchestrated like this and the team that she's developed with Chrissy and Amanda and all of the the people working in the background absolutely amazing so kudos to you little mama (laughs) No, little mama. We're in love with each other, so we, <laughs> we never, like we like to shower each other with love. So thank you. That's a good thing. Love is <laughs> love is the best. But, so, you know but that's the reason. Like honestly, I feel like that's the reason why I've always wanted to do a project like this is because there's genuine love in the pe- the group of people that are on the order. We like every time we're on a, at a con, we have to go to dinner. Every time we're within the vicinity of each other, we have to meet up. We have to hang out. So I was like, if you're going to be stuck on set with someone for 12, 15 hours and, and for six, 10 weeks, I don't know. I'd rather be stuck with these people that I love so much. Yeah. Well, no. See, it's, it's nice because I mean, obviously I've been to conventions. I've, I've met you guys. I've talked to you, interacted. And it's uh, there's always love. There's never there's no... Like there's no badness or bad blood. It's just love, and you know, it's like the range is going to dinner. It's like, oh, I want to come too. Um, but <laughs> it, it's really well, nice. Yeah, there's a park on Indiegogo that's allowing people. You know, because that's the thing. We always have these secret meetups because obviously, when we're at the con, you're working all day, and you're, it's all about the fans. But the minute we leave um, the con, we kind of go, okay, where are we meeting? And there's like this secret text, this secret, like, and we like literally. Like, you know, just take a minute to enjoy each other and just, like, spend time together. So we we kind of catered all this stuff, all the perks and all that stuff on our Indiegogo to give fans a, an inside glimpse of what we do. And that's one of them. They can come with us for the night because that, that fun-filled night always happens. <laughs> <laughs> yes, saw, it does. Uh, I saw some and what an experience for them. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, um, sorry again. I was going to say, um, I've seen the perks um, and I always get, I, I get kind of gutted because if I was like, oh, if I had the money and I oh, live no. in America, I, I could do that. And I, I'm over here in the UK. So it's like, oh, I can't. It's, yeah. yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I wish there was a way that we could figure it out to where it, we could be everywhere. Um, and unfortunately on the schedule, we didn't have anything. Well, the Kia does Nakia's Kia scheduled for London. So you guys, if you're in the London area, by all means, go see Nakia and the whole turbo cast because they're doing a reunion, um, at London Comic Con. Um, but you know, the rest of us aren't going to London this year. So it was like, ah, you know, where is it? When is there a time we're all going to kind of be there in a large mass? So we kind of had to do it that way. But, um, I'm sure there'll be a time where we'll all go back and hopefully the order is super successful and the whole cast will go to London. And we'll take it with <laughs> do, do London premiere. It's, it's yes. yeah, it? from your mouth. Absolutely. To yeah. That would be Amen. like, <laughs> oh. Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> so how did you approach like all, all the, the actors, the Rangers, because, um, when I saw, obviously, it dropped. It was. It looked like, oh my god, you could pretty much almost every single like uh, actor that's been on the show. <laughs> they were just like, hey guys, let's just do a film. And they're like, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I want I want Nikia to I want Nikia to tell you because I I like in my mind know what I did, but I felt like it was an out of body experience, and she <laughs> loathed her home. So I want I I want to recollect like it was like I don't know how I talked them into this. I really don't. <laughs> It was kind of like well, off the cliff. Come on, and they were like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> well, we were. Um, how I found out about it, and uh, we were at breakfast because occasionally Aaron Cahill, Catherine Sutherland, Karen Ashley, and myself will have breakfast, 
and Karen has thrown out the idea. Actually, she had thrown out the idea probably like one of our first breakfasts, which was over a year and a half ago. And um, and we we're like, yeah. She was like, you know, I have, you know, I've had this idea for a while. This is really what I want to do, but um, you know, there weren't any scripts that that had come out by then or anything that she wanted to share necessarily. It was just like, this is the idea. What do you guys think? And we're like, yeah, that would be awesome. And so in December, I think it was in December, um, we had already said yes without even reading it, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Whatever you want us to do, just like you said, jump off the cliff. Okay, yay. Um, so she had sent uh, she had sent me a copy of the script, and I believe Kat had gotten one. Yeah, Kat had gotten one as well. And I was on vacation in, um, in Texas at the time because it was during Christmas time. And it was family gathering. I was sitting there reading the script. I was so involved in the script that I was ignoring my family. <laughs> it was that intense. I was like, oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. And as soon as I finished reading it, I called her, and I was like, Karen, I love the script. And, oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. So I was just absolutely blown away. And then she was giving us, you know, she told, she was telling Karen, uh, Kat and I, you know, some of the ideas of who, some of the characters that she had in mind, some of the people, some of the rangers. And so she had um, approached all of those rangers and I opened up my house to have the first meeting. We all sat down in my backyard at a table and um, Karen spilled out the beans for everybody, told everybody what it would be, what, what her idea is, the sizzle reel and so forth had it all just kind of laid out. Um, everybody was just down. They hadn't even read the script yet. After they read the script, everybody was gung-ho. And thus, you see the sizzle reel. Um, those three days on set, I just have to say, uh, filming the sizzle reel were absolutely amazing to just, most of the actors I have never worked with before. So of, although we've seen each other at conventions and everything, it's different when you're on screen together. It was the time of my life and I, in some of the other interviews I said it was like Disneyland seriously I just had that much fun every day and I was like oh my gosh if I could live and work like this every day it would just be the best time ever because you're surrounded by talented people talented martial artists talented actors um, and people that you love genuinely love which just yeah. is just unheard of because you know when you guest star or co-star on other shows, you know, you go in for a week, it's a cast that you've never met, you get to see each other that day and it's just over, but these are people that you've grown to love throughout the years, so it was just, it was amazing. And there you have it. No, yeah, I like it, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, was, it was really one of those things where I, I have to, like again, I have to commend the cast because they know Karen Ashley, their friend, they don't know Karen Ashley, the producer. So they really, it was a it was a matter of trust. They mm -hmm. obviously liked the script, but they had to trust that I was going to present the project. Or, you know, it was just trusting that I would do what I said, and um, they did. Oh, I like it. I like it. Because uh, I've seen obviously some of the trailer that, that that's been dropped, and it's actually I, I really enjoyed it. I watched the I think the very brief one that they that was out, and I found the one on the website, and I was just like. I'm really excited for this. I can't, I, I, I'm generally just can't wait for it. So no. what about your characters? Uh, what, can you tell me anything about your characters at the moment? Yeah, um, that's one of the things we're kind of leaking um, in the next few weeks. We have a, a new trailer coming out um, in June. So you're going to get even a deeper glimpse of the story and the characters. But uh, leading up to that, we're kind of introducing you to all the characters. And my character is Alyssa. And um, we've got, like, Nikki, I think, posted this really cool snippet of an interview that she was talking about her character. Um, but we're kind of giving you a little more insight. But um, Alyssa, I can't tell you whether she's bad or good, but, you know, one thing I can say is that she is, a, I mean, she's a badass for lack of words. Um, she's a straight shooter. She's really tough. She's actually one of the senior order members. And... Um, you know, you don't know whether she stays order or if she goes chaos, but you know, things get real tricky real fast and she's ready to fight. <laughs> so like it. Um, I'm not really sure what I can say about my character. <laughs> <Just go for it. laughs> um, I'll just, uh, I'll just say she's, she is, 
she's completely opposite of Tanya from Power Rangers. <laughs> um, I'll use kind of the comparison that I did in my video. Um, I, can I say what team I'm on? I don't know. What What am well, I able to say? Well, you can't say what team you're on, but uh, you know, yeah, you can't. Say Karen, you tell it. Karen, you tell her. You tell him what Shania, who Shania is. Well, the thing about Shania, and and you see this in the first uh in the first trailer, is that. Shania is all business, and you don't initially think that she is a part of the this group of you know vigilante kind of assassin people, but you soon find out that she is. And um, uh, Shania and I uh, have a really cool fight scene. I mean, it's like hand to hand combat, like we've never done as actresses. And I mean, we were like sweating bullets the whole time, thinking that the fight was like. <laughs> Terrible, and then we saw the footage. We're like, oh my god, it's so cool! Um, so it's one of those things where uh, Alyssa and Shania actually go head to head um, in the movie, and um, we give you a little glimpse of that in that in the trailer. But Shania is very like she's all business in the beginning, but she's not afraid either to get down and dirty when things go wrong. So. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So I've seen. I think is it Paul's. Uh, Paul's. Um, yeah. His, his character, uh, Austin's character, uh, mm -hmm. and I think I've seen the uh, well, the picture of Steve Cardenas's picture, but I've not read it yet. Um, yeah. So they're all coming out, which I, I quite liked. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's um, there. All the characters. One thing when we when we sat down to write this movie is we we didn't want them to be the characters they were on Power Rangers. Simply because that's iconic. Like that goes when you were five years old, people fell in love with those guys. And um, and this movie has nothing to do with it. The only comparison is that we hired all I hired all my friends, <laughs> you know, um, you know. So it's one of those things. But um, we when we sat down to write the characters, at one point we couldn't get we couldn't get the real people out of our minds, and we had to like really step back and go, okay, wait, let's just write the best movie we can possibly create in this moment. Um, and not think about who's going to play what character, because if we do, we're going to get stuck with who they really are as people. Mm -hmm. So we wrote these far out characters and like, we really, it was like almost like playing a uh, chess or something. We kept moving the pieces around and kept going, okay, what about this person is this character? What about this person? So people were, I mean, we literally moved the people around a million times before we decided, okay, this is who, this is who I think they should be. And some of the cast decisions were made strictly on casting them completely opposite of who they are so um because none of our none of my friends are notorious none of them are <laughs> you know, none of them are going to just go fighting people so you know it, it was like let's get right to so we right complete, complete opposite but i think as an actor it's kind of fun playing different than who you are it's kind of fun oh now, it is you know well, definitely you yeah, they always say that um, playing the bad guy or the evil guy or whatever, um, that's always the best the best role. They have so much fun. Uh, and I agree. I, I, you know, they always say if, if you'd be good or bad you know, in the scenario, would you be like bad? Because you just have so much fun with it. Um, not that I'm condoning being evil. <laughs> but, uh, I know. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Hmm. Um, so everyone loves Easter eggs and references. Uh, did you put any like Ranger references in uh, into it? Because I'm, I'm hoping at, at one point there will be just one line somewhere. Uh, you know what? Not no. We, I mean, I think there could be something, but no, because we were so afraid of being sued or something. Yeah. <laughs> we just the thing is, is they. Are, in, in, you know, with complete respect to Saban and Lionsgate, Lionsgate, they're doing an amazing movie, like, as we speak, for the Power Ranger fans and for 2017, and we're in complete support of it. And we really just didn't want to um, step on anyone's toes. You know, they've spent time, energy, money, and right now we're doing the same thing of trying to create this great project. So, um no, I mean there there might be maybe may, I don't know maybe eventually by the time we finish the movie there might there might be one thing because the fans keep asking for it mm. but um, as of right now no. <laughs> so I always love Easter eggs, just like the little thing yeah. or just the throwaway line. Um, yeah. oh, so um, I'm just looking at my list of questions. Um, so um, what inspired what 
did you take any inspiration from films? Um, because there's, I think, two scenes in in, uh, in the trailer that remind me of, like, say, Captain America and then Civil War. Uh, did you take inspiration from loads of different films and put them all in? You know, at the time, no, because, I mean, you got to think about it. I've been thinking about this for probably, like, 10 years, and I, I knew I wanted good guys and bad guys, and I knew I wanted them not to all be on the same team. But it's like the best time to do something like that. It just, I think it was just divine intervention that it all timed out so perfectly. Um, <laughs> right? I, one thing I will say, yeah. I, I, can't even, I can't even admit to being that smart and thinking that far ahead. Um, but one thing I will say, we did take, I, like, I, I love, um, you know, uh, Ocean's Eleven was one of the first movies who took a really big cast and they took like all these A-list actors and like put them in one movie and said, it's going to work if we give them all moments. So that kind of movie, The Expendables, those were kind of movies that we did kind of go, you know, the formula is there. The formula can work and we need to kind of pay attention to that formula. Um, but yeah, I wish I wish I was smart enough to say, yeah, you know, they're going to have these Batman versus Superman and Civil War and we're going to do it too. I wish I would have been that forward thinking. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> I but, you didn't have, but you didn't have to be because just like you said, God's intervention and divine appointment made it come out right, right at this point, which I think is just, it, it's in its perfect timing. Yeah. I just wanted to fight my friends. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> really cool is Karen Ashley and Nakia Baris fought each other. Um, <laughs> Like, I really thought that was cool. <laughs> I think it is, too. I think it's amazing. I think all the Tom <laughs> Ranger, Yellow Ranger lovers of the world would be like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this happening? It's like, well. What is happening? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be really cool to see us fight and, and, and everybody else fight. Like I said, we got to kick each other's butt for three days. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, I, I've seen the the production shots, um, and it just literally is one big project which is full of love. And again, you know, you get to kick the crap out of each other, which is good. You know, it's it's uh, <laughs> nice. To... <laughs> you know what's funny? If someone said to me the other day at I was at a panel at a con, and they said, "Why why did you guys do action?" And I was like, "If I'm going to cast all former Power Rangers, I mean, what am I going to put them in like a?" you know, a uh, romantic comedy. Like we, we have to do action. <laughs> like it's right, like, right. But, you know, we've got to show them that we still got it. <laughs> so I, I can just imagine the whole like romantic range of film now. And yes. I think, it, I think it would work well. I think it would. <laughs> I think some people would, the girls would really love it. And the guys would be like, Oh, kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking me to see this? It's fun and entertaining. <laughs> Julia uh, Roberts will show up in any moment. <laughs> you need to cast That's it. That's funny. Just bring her in. Oh, I wish. <laughs> There's a part, Julia, if you're out there. We've got a part for you in the order. See, she will now get in contact with us, like, tweet her this video and be like, guys, just watch it. Just watch it, Julia. That's all you need yeah. to do. Tell her, I mean, well, one thing I will say, since we kind of brought this up, there is um, Johnny Bosch in the, in the trailer plays the part of talent. In the movie, he doesn't play Talon. Talon is actually not cast yet. Mm. So the lead bad guy, one of the lead, um, you know, people are going to, um, we're still casting. And um, the mystery is who's going to be Talon. And um, we're actually, we're probably going to look outside of the Power Ranger circle Ooh. and find um, an A-lister maybe to play that part. Mm, that'd be that'd be cool. Uh, see, because um, that was one of my other questions was um, because obviously if you're still bringing people in, um, and so far it's been everyone is is a ranger. Would you be bringing other rangers in when they have time or when they can do it? Yes, yes. The, the movie's not cast. I mean, it's not fully cast yet. So there are going to be several cast annou announcements over the next few weeks. Ooh. Ooh. I know. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I, I've been following it since. You guys got to have a contest and start guessing who, who's the next cast person. <laughs> hmm. Off the top of my head, I'm going to. Who do you want, Mark? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to uh, The, I oh, don't know. Uh, the Red Samurai Ranger, um, Alex Hartman, I think that's his okay. name. Okay. Uh, I 
Yeah, uh, I, I just imagine being like a, a, a mobs kind of guy. I think that he would play that part really well. And Ciara Hanna, I think those two would be great uh, I, choices. I know both of them. And so since I've cast all my friends, there's a chance. <laughs> See, get them all in. I mean, if you could have any, like anyone to say, yeah, come on board out of the, the range of community, who would you have? Who would be your ideal person? I think I've already, I've had 18 of them already say yes. Uh, there we go. <laughs> you know, I, I, I mean, there's obviously a few other people, but I don't want to say them because I'll be giving it away. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten 18 yeses. There we go. Yes, that's all good. That's all you need. How about you, Nakia? <laughs> Have, who would I want? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It would have to be a Power Ranger? Or it could just be anyone? Let's go with both. Let's go with both on this one. So you get two choices. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I would like to see <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> can, we, can we bring in Chris yes. Hemsworth? Yes. I know he's Thor, yes. but, yes. you know, hey. Chris Hemsworth, you are talent. <laughs> We'll, we'll tweet out to him and get him in. Yes, please do. <laughs> well, he even if he's not talent, he could just be, you know, he could just be on the set somewhere, chilling. <laughs> I have love interest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who else. I, I don't know. I'm not good to ask that one, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so uh, another one is you met is it uh, Jeff Tim and Zach um, they have how did you meet them how did they become part of the project um, well uh, Tim and I met when I was 12 years old uh, he used to be my manager back mm -hmm. in the day and we yeah we've known each other for years we've actually produced two other movies together and um, we it was just a natural thing it was funny because I had already kind of gotten my my crew together it was, you know me uh, Johnny, David Walls was already on the project, and David uh, Fielding were, we were already kind of working, and I had already gotten the cast to agree to this, and I had just so happened to go to breakfast with him, and he was like, look, I mean, I, I want to help you, and for no other reason, I just want to make sure we get, you get this movie done, and I want to lend that support, and he was, um, him and Jeff were really good friends, and um, they kind of cut, came on as uh, investors slash producers and Zach McGinnis you guys know him he's our you know uh, manager he's our he's the reason you guys see us at all these comic cons uh, he is uh, a manager or an agent for me Austin St. John David Yost and Walter Jones and so when Zach it was funny because uh, he he had he had booked us on a comic con right outside of Austin and he actually um, convinced me and Austin to fly to Dallas and road trip with him to Austin, which is like four hours away. And I was like, how did we get him to talk us into this? And on the way on this road trip, I was telling them all about the order. Like I was just talking about everything and my plan. And um, just that one conversation, he called me like, you know, the very next week and was like, I want to He hadn't seen anything. He hadn't read the script. I think to this day, he still hasn't read the script. Um, and he just is like, I believe it. I, I know, he's like a crazy person. He's like, I wow. believe in it, and um, your energy and your your passion, you know, I believe in that. That's what I believe in. So I'm here. I want to help, and um, and and they've just been a huge support. Amazing producers. Oh, cool. Yeah, because it said on the website, I was like, oh, there's three people on this, and then uh, is it David who worked on shows like uh, Supergirl as well? Um, yeah, he's currently working. He worked on season one of Supergirl. He's done stunts and stunt choreography I mean he's like for real in the business he's one of the guys that everyone calls um he was a ninja turtle at one time he was obviously a power ranger he used to be the you know David Yost's stunt double um and he uh has done amazing movies like you know Pirates of the Caribbean I mean the list goes on if you IMDB him which I put it on the Indiegogo because I was like this is how legit this guy is click this link um He's worked on so many things. Like I am blown away by his resume. Wow! And so I saw when he said that he'd been working on Supergirl. I was like, wow, that's like it's one of is it uh, CBS or something? Like I can't remember the, the network, but it's one of the biggest uh, shows in in also like the DC universe. And I was just like, yeah. wow! Yeah, he's he's behind a lot of those amazing stunts. 
Mm. So do you guys like watch Supergirl or the like um, like the DC sort of like programs? I couldn't remember the name then. I was like, it begins with a P, um, but it's like, again more like to see what he's done as well as like kind of checking things out. Yeah, you know what? I've, I've always been a fan of his. And it was funny because when we talked about doing this movie, I was throwing out all these uh, director possibilities. Like I was like this person, that person. And Johnny was like, oh my gosh, you know who I'm really good friends with? David Wald. You remember him? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, he's gone on to really become a really good director. And he's the guy we need. Like, he's the guy. And I was like, yeah, really? And he was like, yeah. He goes, he's, you know, he's a, like kind of like a one-man band. He can direct. He can do vet, visual special effects. He owns all this equipment. Let me see if I can get him onto this project. And, like, we literally sat down with him. And I was like, we're putting the band back together. And, like, after one 20 minute conversation he was like planning out shots like um, immediately was planning out the shots for this for this um project and i mean he was working for on the at the time for supergirl and then he was also like ang lee had just called him and said can you come and do this you know this week with us and he was like but was like consumed with us as well and i was like oh my gosh this is like a miracle <laughs> awesome. So, what sort of locations did you use for, like, without giving away if they're not involved with the story, but what sort of locations and how did you find them? I just went for locations. I mean, we were on a limited budget for the, the trailer shoot. And when I say limited, it was still a significant amount of money. But as far as movies go, it was limited. Um, and I just basically found things that could work for us where we could shoot in one place for a day or two and it would look like 10 places. And so one of the locations was a warehouse and we literally had four floors. I mean, we had like a warehouse area, we had office areas, we had the roof. I mean, we literally had this entire building. And then we shot at a ranch that was secluded and away from everyone. But again, was a place that if you turn the corner, it looked like you were in Mexico. Or if you turn the next corner, it looked like you were in the desert. I mean, it just had so many different um, possibilities, and um, it fit our. Luckily, and that was another thing. They, these people, these locations were super expensive. But when I went to them and said, "Look, this is what I'm doing. I have a very limited budget. The reason we're doing this is so investors and and crowdfunders and and these type of people can see this. Um, we really need a good place at a good price." They actually lowered all their rates for us, oh. and we're like. Yeah, it was like, again, another thing that just helped us get to this point. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of it. I mean, we just kind of, it was all almost budget <laughs> controlled. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know like location scouting can be quite, can be tricky as well as really important. Um, yeah. Is it something like you'll use these sorts of places again for, I know, because you mentioned on the, uh, that you're going to make a sequel, hopefully at some point. Will it be used again, like locations and stuff like that, the same ones and going back there? Yeah, I mean, it really depends. I think the, the order is their group of people and um, they're not just based in the United States. They're kind of, when we do the movie, the movie is actually based in several parts around the world. Mm. Um, so we're going to, it's going to take, the location scout is going to have a lot of work to help us find those places. Um, we're going to shoot in and around Los Angeles um, and even potentially anywhere else. It, it really depends on the budget and depends on um, what we what we're able to raise and get from investors. Once we know what scope we're shooting on to finish this project, then everything kind of falls into place at that point. Hmm. That's quite cool. So how how long do you want to spend on filming it? Or is there like you set yourself a goal for uh, like a couple of months or when people can like uh, fit in and stuff like that? No, we we have a we have a plan. Um, we hope to be done with the fundraising campaign in July, and we hope to have the rest of the money through investors all in place. We're going to go right into pre-production, and we hope to shoot at the end of this year. And it's going to be um, a six-week shoot, but there's also going to be an additional three weeks of just rehearsals and practice for those nights. Mm. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So with like. Will this spur you want to do more projects so when the order's finished and uh, will you want to do other ones uh, later on? Like, if you could do any ones as well, like what sort of job yeah. next? I mean, the, sky, the sky's the limit. I think with this amazing group of people, there's room for, um, there's room for sequels, there's room for spinoffs, there's room for all kinds of opportunity. And hopefully um, we're successful and Hollywood agrees because mm -hmm. I feel like We've got a, what, what people don't understand is we've got a market. We've got a, a group of fans that 
religiously show up for us to Comic Con, religiously show up on our social media, and are religiously showing up on this campaign and and just supporting the order. And um, we're going to hopefully give them a really good movie, and we'll have many more movies coming. Many. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, and I'll uh, always support and uh, watch and help whatever I can on this one, because I like seeing uh, projects like this like come up and be like, yes, I just want to watch and, and be involved and, and help whenever yeah. I can. Thank you. So, um, in the synopsis, uh, you say that um, it's like the unthinkable will happen. Are there going to be consequences throughout the film? So, like, say, if one character did something, it would affect much, like later on if that makes sense. <laughs> um, Absolutely. You'll see where there's one thing that happens and it, it's just a domino effect. There's yeah. one, there's, there's, there's a few decisions made and it affects the whole team because um, not only is um, the team now divided, but they're fighting each other. And the only way you can defeat the other is you have to kill them. You know, yeah. they're not just going to go, oh, okay, we give up. <laughs> oh yeah absolutely mm. oh that's cool i think i think that's all i, I, I can think of uh, at the moment um obviously with uh power morph con coming up i'll have more follow-up questions and be like hey i've thought about this and then go around to everyone and and, and interview them and say hey what do you think thank you they love talking about the order <laughs> mm. yeah, it's a good project because again like nothing's really like popped up and then when you watch all your your favorite actors and actresses working together to create something that is kind of like i would say like an r-rated ranger thing but isn't ranger it's just everyone together i think it makes a lot more fun and it makes things more enjoyable so it's not something for kids but again it's for the kids that grew into adults right Mm. Exactly. You you said it best. Uh, I thought I was like, oh, I'm just I'm mumbling, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's exactly what it is. I I mean, it was like you know, you guys have grown up and you guys love all these other movies. Um, so I wanted to. I I'd hope that we could create a movie that um is on the same playing field as them. You know. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm looking. I'm, I'm just looking forward to to seeing it all, um, and I'm just just it's it's going to be fun. That's all I can say. I'm, I'm excited about it as you as you can tell. Um, even at like what <laughs> half ten at night over in the UK, but I think it's just it's just going to be such a fun project to to kind of follow. And then seeing how much hype that came up again with like when the logo like just dropped, uh, so much hype behind it. Um, yeah. It's just there's more going to come up quite soon. Um, and I, I, I can't wait to, to follow it and just keep going with it until uh, until it comes out. Thank you. Your support means everything. Your support. And, then, and I have to just say, um, and I'll, I'll let Nakia have time to speak as well, but we really, really, really want to thank the fans. The only reason we're to this point in our fundraising, the only reason we put the project together was because it was for them. And we had gone from city to city all over the world. And people were like, will we ever see you together again? And that really was the inspiration to wanting to do this. And I really think in the back of the minds of all the actors, is they were like, yeah, let's do it. I mean, let's get together. The fans are going to, like, we kept going, the fans, they're going to, their minds are going to explode. Like, anytime we would come up with something new and present it to them, they would be like, their minds will explode. <laughs> and it was always just like, we've been wanting to entertain you guys for so long, and we finally have an, a good opportunity of doing that. Mm. But I'm hoping um, with uh, Karen, do you live in London, my love? Uh, no, I live I live up in Chester, which is uh, about four hours away from London. Oh, about four hours. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to uh, get with Karen's permission a panel um, at the London uh, Film Comic Con. <laughs> okay, I've I've e I thought you would be okay with it, so I've emailed just a filler um, to the promoter there. So I was going to. I know it's four hours away from you, but if you're able, because, you know, Johnny, Kat, Blake, and I, we'll all be there. And if we're able to get a panel, then whatever material um, Karen sends with us, there might be some new material out yes. for you guys to view that we could premiere at, at the London Com, you know, Comic-Con, because it's a very huge Comic-Con. Mm. And um, then we'll be, I'll be able to tell you maybe a little bit more about Shania. 
Yes. Yes. So, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I, I hope you, yeah, do it, girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, ho hopefully um, with LFCC, I know the, the people um, that kind of run it as well. And they've said to come down and they say, like, if you come down, we'll, we'll sort something out. So time off work and I'll come down. <laughs> Yay! Well, you know what? It would be great because the one that the gentleman that I'm speaking to is Andrew. So if you mention to him and you ask him because I just sent him an email and he hasn't he hasn't let me know either, you know, yay or nay on it yet. Just ask him. It's, so is the order going to have a panel here? Because yeah. I think they're still, they might be trying to, I don't know if they, they already have it already outlined where, how many panels they're going to have and so forth, which I'm sure they're pretty close to it. So I don't know if they have any open spots because it's kind of late in the date, but um, mention it to him so then he can kind of know that uh, there will be an interest. I, that would I know. be nice. Yeah, I know a lot of the UK fans um, will have like lots of questions as well. So yeah, I'll um, I'll drop them a message uh, as well as like one or two others that I know over there, and just get loads more hype like kind of like behind it as well, and be like, let's watch the panel, and then hopefully <laughs> like that. Yes, yes, and more yes. That would be great. That would be great. So yeah, so are you all? Are you looking forward to uh, London Comic Con? Oh yes. Oh my goodness. This is actually going to be the first um, Comic Con that I bring my family to. They haven't, I've had, you know, a couple that have been local to Paramorphicon, and my, my boys and my husband have never been. Mm -hmm. So they're actually going to go to their first Comic Con, which is going to be the London Comic Con. Uh -huh. And we're going to make it into a little family vacation, uh, extended a little bit. I'm very mm -hmm. excited about it. What awesome. a way to do it, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. Yeah, London is a nice place. Uh, got London Eye, Big Ben, Houses of Parliament. Um, they're the landmarks that I can think of. Uh, Buckingham Palace as well. You've got tons. The whole city is a landmark. It's like mm. one of the most amazing cities ever. Mm. It's, it's really nice. It's very nice. We're going to go to, you know, we're going to go in London and then we're going to spend a couple of days in Paris because my boys have never been over overseas before. So this will be their first, mm. their first trip overseas. And I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited, excited, excited. So, yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I've never been to Paris, but I've heard it's really, really nice over there. So, It's but. nice. It's, there, there's, there's really, the architecture and just the history is, is really nice. I, I don't think my, my kids will get as much out of it as they will London as far as things to do, because there's only so many buildings you can look at. <laughs> and so many pictures you can look at and I have two boys so they're not all that interested in that so we'll just be breezing through some things that's why we're only spending two nights there so <laughs> still yeah. two, two good nights over there I've got to say that it will be two great nights yes <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, but no. I'm, I hope you guys. I hope you have a, a nice time in Paris. And l obviously, London is is kind of like my second home at times. Uh, I go there quite a bit. Um, but it's it's a nice nice place to to generally visit. Uh, it feels very much kind of like New York at times. It's always alive and it's full of energy as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking forward to it for sure. <laughs> See, so, yeah, Karen, you've got to come across again, you know? You came... I know. I want to come so bad. That's literally one of my favorite cities. And last time I went, my husband, that was his first time out of the country. So I think we, we share in that, Nikia. We like to introduce people to London. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then, we had just gotten married, and that was kind of like our, we extended our trip as our kind of our honeymoon, um, you know, va slash vacation, slash Comic-Con. Mm. <laughs> so, that's it, awesome yeah I love it but thank you so much Mark really no thank you. I know that you are doing great things over there and I'm so proud of you and I'm just oh. so happy that you like the order and you were you know at all we, we had all impressed you because I know you're a real Power Ranger fan so mm. um, I, I appreciate your support I really really do no, no problem I'm, as, as long as I can help out in any way even spread the word donate when yes. I can then uh, yes that's huge. That's huge for us. The more people that know, the better. Mm, hopefully, yeah, true. And uh, make sure you watch Class Dismissed, Mr. Mark. Yes, I think I, you saw the trailer, but you've got to check out the episodes as well. I will do. Are you, is it, have you just finished? Is it, I, I'm not quite sure if you're into, see, is it season one or two? or Season one. Season, season one. We're going to begin probably season two in August. Oh, nice. Well, 
I would definitely uh, check out and help as well with uh, the fundraising. Uh, Cause I know you sent me a message. I think I've only just recently seen the, the messages on Twitter. Um, so I will help out when I can on, uh, on helping with funding and stuff. Oh, well, class dismissed, uh, the, the campaign is, is over. So oh. if you just want to help, help with uh, the order, that's even, that's just as great. Mm. Well, I'll help with as much as I can. I'll share. I'll share them. I'll, uh, Thank, uh, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Well, thank you very much, guys. Um, so, thank yeah. you. And I will see you in. Is it London first, and then it'll be? Is it Power Morph Con? Uh, I can't remember the dates at the moment, but yes, yes, it'll be London first and Power Morph Con. Yeah. So yeah, I will definitely come down to London now. I will book time off, and I will come down. Yay! Yay! <laughs> You got to wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Cool. All right. Well, you guys have a wonderful evening. And you as well. Thank you. Cool. Okay. Bye now. Cool. Bye, See you soon. Mark. Bye.